This short video will help you get started with Office 365. Office 365 is a range of apps and software that work across multiple devices to help you be more productive. You can access these services from your computer, from your phone or from your tablet. I'm going to show you how to sign into Office 365 from a web browser. To do that, you're going to need your username and your regular college password. And don't worry, if you want to keep using email via Outlook, you can continue to do that. I'm going to start off though by showing you webmail and the URL you need to go to to access that is email.imperial.ac.uk. Now this will work from any computer, not just from the computers in college. You're then going to sign in with your username at ic.ac.uk. It's very important that is not your email address. Then you're going to use your normal college password and click sign in. If you're on a computer you use all the time, you can get it to remember it just by clicking yes. And then you're into your webmail. Now I hope a lot of you will have used webmail already, but may not know that that is part of the Office 365 service. In the top right hand corner, you'll have your profile information and some of you may already have a picture. If you haven't, you could add one there. Also, in the top right hand corner, there's an option for settings. So if you want to set your out of office at home, for example, um, or any other settings, you can find them in the top right hand corner. And if you search, it'll bring up the setting that you're looking for. In the top left hand corner, you'll see we're in Office 365 and Outlook currently. But if you click on the button in the very top left, you'll see some of the other apps which are available within Office 365. You can also get a link from there to the Office 365 portal. And this is where you're going to be able to download free copies of Office 365 at home. You can do that on up to five devices. And if you're on a PC, it will download Office 2016 for PC or on a Mac, it will install Office 2016 for Mac. If you click on that button again, which we call the waffle, you'll see a range of other apps. And the first one I'm going to show you is OneDrive. This is probably the one to look at first if you've not explored Office 365 so far. OneDrive is like a cloud storage area. You can see I've got some files and folders in here. It will tell you who modified that file last, what the size is, and also whether there's any sharing that's happened. We will talk about the sharing of files and collaboration in another video. To get documents into OneDrive, you can either create them straight from the new menu to create Office documents or create folders. And you can also upload existing documents from the H drive or from your computer using the button Upload. However, you don't have to start your documents from Office 365 to get them in OneDrive. This is a brand new Word document, which I've just started using the desktop version of Word, which is installed on my computer. And you'll notice when you go to Save As, you've now got the option to save to your OneDrive or to Sites. Now, Sites are shared spaces, either SharePoint or shared file areas in Teams. Again, we'll talk more about those in other videos. When you go to open a document that's in your OneDrive, it's going to open in the web browser. And then you've got a choice on how you want to edit it. You could edit it in the desktop version of Word, or I'm going to click Edit in Browser. And that means I'm working completely online. And again, this could be from any computer anywhere in the world. You can make changes to your document and they will all be saved live back to your OneDrive. So it means you don't have to move files around on a memory stick or by emailing them to yourself. So if you go back to the waffle, you'll see that there are lots of other apps. If you click all apps, you'll see the full list that you have available to you. And I'd really encourage you to sign in and start exploring. Now, that's all I have time to show you today. That's webmail, OneDrive and getting your apps at home. So I encourage you to sign into Office 365, click on the waffle, so that button in the top corner and start exploring. Try uploading your first document to OneDrive or consider attending a training course or booking a one-to-one -one with one of the Imperial College Office 365 champions. Thanks for listening.